What happened last time when you gamble? It affected your work, yeah? It affected your what? Mental health, innit? It did. Then, then you're ignoring us and gambling again. So that means you got an addiction. We're six lads doing nails in Liverpool. Doing nails isn't a typical job for lads. We're like local celebs. We're just a nice set of people, like good vibes. When it comes to love, we I are cursed. Later, do it every day, do it every night. We're living, working, fighting together. It's always gonna be drama. You got like different personalities. Bound to clash. We are the nail bar boys. We may not know a lot about women, but we know a lot about the nails. And then she left me. I'm ready for love. He's like the cool, cool uncle in the salon, you know, he's, he's a tiny bit older, but he can still, but he can still have a good time. Biggest ladies man in the shop, Kenny. He's exceptionally good looking. If he fancies the customer, he'll be like, he'll take his time, like, sticking on the tips, making a little eye contact, stuff like that, do you know what I mean? I, I don't know how, how I can't find a girlfriend, to be honest. Maybe it'll happen one day, innit? Shy, unsmooth with the girls, with the ladies, in between her esque. Every year, we do charity boxing event where we all fight and we're all unbeaten until Astro steps into the ring for the first time. I've got a rematch against the guy who beat me last time. He's got a lot to do. What are you scared about the most? Talking to girls. <laughs> Our dating life is, is becoming like a joke. Right. I've got the solution. We're going speed dating. Why you look so nervous? <laughs> why, why do you look so sad about it? We've got to get rid of this so-called curse that we have. Well, the curse is definitely real. I, I promise you that. Hey, I just do what I do. See Not as a date since, like, 2019. Here's the feeling all get together. I think it's... I'm the curse. Can I trust Bruno? Love him, but I can't trust him. How old were you when you first started to gamble? 16. Where did you go? Uh, he went to the book, isn't it? How much you got in your pocket right now, bro? 14 quid or something. How much you got in your bank? 15. There you go. What happened last time when you gamble? It affected your work, yeah? It affected your what? Mental health, innit? It did. Then, then you're ignoring us and gambling again. So that means you got an addiction. It's not outing each other. It's supporting each other. I get so on his case, on the boys' cases, because I, I was that. That loser. Three years straight, 18, 19, 20. I was really, really in the, probably the darkest place that, that you, anyone could ever be in. I had not even not even a penny to my name. It helps knowing that I've got my mate support. I think I want to better myself. I can call them all my brothers and a big, big, massive family. Without them, I'd be lost. It's literally a connection and you know, a family that I never had.